Good morning, team. Good morning, good Friday morning. Hope this will be a wonderful day for everyone. I'm already decreeing and declaring it. Uh, so be blessed, be highly favored, and have the best that life has to offer for you. Take it, because it belongs to you. Uh, I won't go on with normal things today. I, I will say let's make sure we work safely, because um, it's nothing more important than you getting back home to your family. So don't take any unnecessary precautions. Do what you're supposed to do. Let's get in and let's get out. I want to tell you about something new, a different kind of initiative that we're going to try to do. Um, Justin may talk about with you when he talks to you about your schedule. Um, but just in case he uh, doesn't get to it, I want you to know we're implementing a new thing called uh, Rescuers. Right? So on any given day, off days, if a person is off on that particular day, you can be a rescuer. And a rescuer is somebody who comes in in the afternoon, not not at our 11 o'clock start, but usually somewhere around four. And they would come in and they would rescue for that day. So that would help us get, if we're behind to catch up, or if we have some issues going on with individuals that we need to get them out of the field, for one reason or another, they would help in doing that. If you're interested in something like that, make sure Justin knows that on your off day, you would like to be on that rescuer standby list. Um, to be able to be called in. Um, so if you if you volunteer, I'll just ask you to be able to do it. If you can't do it, don't volunteer for it. Uh, that makes life, life a little bit easier for us. We don't like to be thinking we can depend on someone that we can't. So just, uh, you know, if you want to be a part of it, please be a part of it as we grow, as we get more and more people in. Uh, we'll get to the point where we'll have less days available, meaning that for the people who, who've been enjoying the luxury of five and six days, Less of that will occur, but I, uh, most, I shouldn't say most, some people will always have the fifth or sixth day option because that's going to be a reward. If you're performing well and doing what you're supposed to do, you'll have a fifth and sixth day option. We're going through peak, so there's usually some activity we can get to be able to help to make sure people can make that extra money if they want to make it. But for those who don't perform well, and we're doing it now slowly, uh, you you won't be given the option to have any more than four days. And the truth is, if you got speed and incidents and things like that, you won't even be given an option to get four days in. Uh, uh, truthfully, if you continue with speeding incidents, you won't have any days. So, seatbelt, speeding, that kind of stuff. FICO scores being poor. So, it's new things. We're going to keep trying different things. Uh, yeah, you'll see different people helping us out. But we have openers and closers, things like that. You'll see those different people who, who, who are assisting in that manner. Uh, we're trying, and it's based on what we've seen, right? So for those who say, well, I didn't see a posting. You'll never see a posting for a promotional opportunity with this company. Uh, uh, well, I shouldn't say never, who knows what the future holds, but you don't see postings. It's based on what you've been doing, how you've been doing, that we make a selection on who we think would be good for this. So you're writing your resume every day. But opener and closers, we're going to be looking at different people for those responsibilities. There's a small bump in pay on the days that they do it. Um, so you never know if you get tapped on the shoulder for that. But uh, you know, we're going to try our best to make sure we take care of things, get back into winning ways. I mean, and a lot of that will be because we'll remove people who aren't winning um, and don't care about winning. So um, I need you to be real careful, though. We had uh, another one of our brothers get hurt this week trying to get away from a dog, hurt himself um, doing so. And I just want you to know, if you see a dog, now he didn't see it, he came out of nowhere, but if you see a dog, don't take the chance. I know we all, you know, it's a bunch of people who aren't afraid of dogs, because you love dogs. I love dogs, and I'm really not afraid of dogs, but I've come to learn not to take options. I mean, take the chance, should I say? Because you just never know. Uh, the cutest chihuahua will try to, you know, get all over you. And then, you know, sometimes Cujo is laying there looking like everything is good. And then all of a sudden he changes his mind or her mind. So please don't take any chances with dogs. Please don't pull into places that you uh, can't see a way out. Be, remember, gravel can be like ice and, and leaves absolutely can. Just work safe, be safe, do the best you can. I really do appreciate all of you. Uh, you make coming to work fun. I really enjoy it. It's been crazy for the last couple of weeks, but nevertheless, I really enjoy it. I really appreciate you all. I've got a great love for you all. God, I ask you to bless this team and take care of them. Do something wonderful in their lives this day and every day. I pray you would, Lord God, open them up to the windows of heaven that they won't have room to receive all the wonderful things that you would bless them with. 
pray that they would have peace because there's no financial thing that is good as peace and good as your joy. I pray that their families would have peace and joy and good health. So if there's sickness, I pray healing. And if there's confusion, I pray peace. But you know their need. So I ask you to meet them where, you, where they need you. I ask you to teach them who you are and show them who you are so they'll know like I know how wonderful you are. I thank you for all of them. I pray you'll bless their lives and their families. In Jesus' name, amen.